Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures back with you with another post review. This is Snow Sweet by Bella Safina. I purchased this last year and it came a little bit late, not because of her. It was a pre order and I already had some other things kitted up. So I saved it for this year and I did an unboxing. I'm gonna put the unboxing up here in the eye for you. Check out the unboxing if you want, but this is the post review and I'm so excited because this is the one I customized more than, more than a lot of other ones. I have customized a couple about the same amount, but I had a lot of fun with this one. So let's dive in. I'm gonna get to my logbook in a few minutes. If you want your own, check out down below. Okay, so let's see what happened here. This is adorable. If you follow me on Instagram or my Creative Craft Addiction Facebook group, you have seen updated photos of this along the way. And we're going to keep going. All right, so what did I do? When I unboxed, I did talk about how the boots and the snow and the package were the same color and I needed to change that up. So what did I do? Okay, let's look at, do, do, do. the drills. So this is the drills for two different paintings. So I'm working at Christmas truck right now. But 365. It has a tint of mint to it, which is great for snow. But it was the same color for the boots, the snow, and the white in the present. And when I did the unboxing, I spoke about how I was going to switch it up. So what did I do? I left the snow as is. Okay, so the snow's all there. I'm going to try to bring you in a little bit. There we go. So the snow I left is the same. Then what I did in the boots is I switched out and did 3865 ABs. You can get these from DP with sparklers. And I got some ABs. So I did the boots in the 36 or 3865. And what did I do for the present? For the present, I actually replaced it, the white part with um, 762. I had leftover drills and I replaced and put 762. And I also, because in here with these uh, dark colors, that was also white as well. And so I just took the line straight down and changed out because in the photo, let me grab the photo here. The photo shows it's supposed to be a lined gift, right? Wrapping paper. So here's the photo, it's supposed to be striped. And so I wanted the stripes to come out. So I changed out the white, 3765 with 762. And then the light green was already there, but I changed out in between the light green, there was white. I changed it to 954. And this is how I keep my spares. And so I had a whole bunch of those. And then up here in the box, because the lid in the picture shows it's supposed to be, you know, stripey fun, I just replaced the 3765 with the 954 to make the box of the package really dead on. Another thing I did with the packaging is I switched these colors up. So I just went with my gut because it's supposed to be striped packaging. So I did some replacement all through here with different browns, different pinks. I actually put, um, some ABs in here, gave it a little glam. And then I did do some switching out here. I believe I used 761 instead of the white because all of this was this pink um, and the brown areas. It, it just all was blending together. It was gonna be the same color. 
And so it took, this part is the part that took me the longest because I can be creative, but it's hard for me to come up with stuff from scratch. And so creativity, I can switch out, you know, a pink for a pink or an AB and a sparkler, those kind of things. But switching out actual colors is really hard for me. And so that's, that's kind of what I did there. In the bird, I actually used some of these glow glass carnation in the bird to give the bird a little shine shine. And I replaced um, the, which one? Let me just peek here, which symbol? Okay, so it was originally going to be the AB color, which is already sparkle sparkle, but I switched it up because there was so much pink in here and there were ABs everywhere already. I wanted the bird to have a little bit uniqueness. So I put some glow glass sparkler carnations and these actually glow in the dark, really fun. So the bird's gonna do a little glow in its feathers. Let's see what else I changed up here. I need a bigger desk. Okay, so anytime there was white, I'm gonna switch you a little bit. Anytime there was white in the background, I switched it out for ABs, but I didn't do a 3765 for 3765. I actually switched it out for pure white ABs, which is the 5200. So I did that there. All right, these are my extra drills, so I'm gonna move these off screen. Doo -doo -doo. This is a 60 by 60. All right, so up here, what did I do? I did not have the four, I think it's 415 gray ABs. So I did do um, 318, I believe it was. Let me see, I have it over here. Where are you hiding? Yes, 318 ABs in the star. I also did some fairy dust sparklers in the star because I wanted the star to have a little bit more glam, a little more sparkle, sparkle. I did switch um, and do some white ABs up here. Again, all the white was the same. So you had white here and you had white here. It was all the same kind of white. Um, so I switched those ABs out. Again, anything here. I didn't do the pink and AB. I kept that as the base. And then I just kind of AB'd up any of the accents. Over here, I did do a few extra ABs, but not many. Because I didn't, I didn't have enough ABs to do all the stars. And so I left the stars white. Um, something else I did switch out. Um, I did a couple switch outs in her uh, scarf. Also, the the little cuffs and the earmuffs, those were also switched out. I had to buy more ABs because I used so many, but that's okay. Uh, this is a Christmas sparkle. So I did use 3865 for the cuffs, for the white and the earmuffs. For this part of the white, I did leave her stockings or her tights, normal white, over here. I also, the reason I did the cuffs is you can see it would run into the snow. So I wanted a small change as far as that was concerned. I didn't do any changes in the deer. Uh, I did put, nope, that was originally in there. So that already had an AB in there. So I didn't do any change with the deer. Um, I really didn't do any changes with the eyes at all. I'm not a big switch out of 310 when it's eyes and different things. 310, I think, adds depth. And an AB 310 has too much blue and green iridescent. So I'm so excited about this one. So excited. I think she turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think. I know several people are doing this one as well. I wanted to go over my five-star rating with her real quick and give you my notes. All right, so I did do five stars for the canvas glue, five stars for the symbol clarity, five stars for the drill quality. I did not run out. 
Um, the design success, I love how it turned out with my changes, but I gave it three stars because I do believe it needs a little touch up, like I said, with the boots and the cuff and the package and then over here, the cuff and the snow. I feel like the whites, white on white, and it all ran together and I really had to pay attention. Oh, I forgot. I got to show you what I did with her bow. And then I did five for experience. My notes were that it did have training circles because this is around and it really bothered me and it actually affected how I laid down the drills so they're not as straight because I was so worried about getting it in the circles and it just, it affected that. Um, and then I wrote, just like I said, the white ran from the presence to the boots to the background, same with the earmuffs and the coat. So that was... My take on it, I do have to go back up here and look at my receipt of the price I purchased and when it shipped out and when I received it. I do know that it was all in good timing. Um, I did realize as I'm doing this, I missed a little spot right here. I must have been covering that up with my tray. <laughs> Sometimes that happens where I'll quick... You know, think I'm complete. I, I haven't done, what is under here? Oh, it's a drill. I was like, why isn't that laying there? But I usually do, before I put it away, I do the light board test where I put the light board under. Make sure I haven't missed any. I did change out things in the bow. Instead of using the green that was provided, I did use some glow glass green, which I'm super, super excited about. I think it turned out really well, and it gave good depth in her bow. So excited. So there's several things in here. You just can't help but look. It's so adorable, so cute, and I'm so excited. So let me know what you're working on during the holiday break. And I am so excited to be now working on my next canvas. Thank you so much, Bella Safina, for providing this. It was a dream to work on. It's so cute. Um, so go check her out. Check out some other Sherry Baldi she has over there, as well as some other great art as well. Until next time, be blessed. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.